I'm gonna get into the cons now. You gotta be tighter on your risk assessments, okay? There's a ton of collaborative robots that have went out that do not really meet the proper risk assessment. Somebody did the risk assessment and just basically passed it off. But you gotta be careful if you have like big chunks of metal at the end of your robot tooling, like you really need to be like designing and engineering with plastics so that way they either break if they hit a human or they don't cause any type of cuts or lacerations. Uh, that's something you definitely have to keep in mind. And like I said, there's a lot of applications that are going out with robots with big chunks of metal on it, sharp metal, pinch points, uh, of the application from where it's doing its pick and place. And you have to be more cognizant of that because before your robot was generally inside of a cage. And with the way we engineer our systems, you had to hit a safety interlock button. The system itself had to give a signal back from the PLC, the robot, all the pieces of equipment in there saying, hey, I'm safe, it's okay to enter. Uh, 